Hi and thank you for choosing Card Studio 2.0. This video shows how to create a new project so you can manage your cardholder's data and print the data with your created card design. First step is to click on the Print Studio icon to start the software for managing your data and print your cards. Go to File in the main menu and click on New or click on the icon in the Quick menu. Now click on the New Project link or button and select one of the six options to start a new project. This video will show you how to set up a completely new project. Click on Create a new project if you want to begin with a blank data grid and set up your own data columns. Start with the setup of your project structure. The software offers you a couple of default data columns. Change or delete the columns you do not need and add columns to your liking. Give your new project a name and add the needed data columns. We will add the data fields you also use in your card design. The first data column will represent a unique number to identify a specific card holder. We will name the database field employee number, set the data type to number, and check the boxes to make this data field required and unique. We will keep the first name, last name, number of cards, and card status. Change the date of birth column to expiry date and add a new column for the functions. Click on the Add New Property button and give it the functions name. Add four countries. We will add USA, Canada, UK, and Netherlands. With the default input field, you can add a standard value to your data field. Empty fields and new records will automatically get the default value you add to this data field. Click on the X button to delete a data column from the project structure setup. Click on the Next Step button to go to Step 2. Enable the biometric images you need in your project and determine how they will be stored. The box for ID photos makes photos visible in the project and enables you to add photos. After checking the box, determine the ratio of the photo. Select how and where photos will be saved within your project. Check this box if you want to use data columns to represent the file name of the photos saved in this project. Select the format PNG, JPEG or BMP and size. The box for the signature makes signatures visible in the project and enables you to add signatures. The signature section works the same as the passport photo section mentioned earlier. Click on the next step and choose for the default configuration or adjust the setup for detailed and gallery view. Step 4 allows you to set up triggers for your project. Triggers can be used to automatically change data in your project on a certain condition or event. A new project like we are creating has a couple of standard data columns connected to triggers that are also set up by default. For this project, we will keep the default triggers. The number of cards will add value and increment by one after printing. The card status will automatically change to valid card after printing. Click on the Create Project and the new structure is ready. Now add data manually or import data.